will be taking on Strafen of the Vikings. And a lot of people haven't seen this kid Strafen play yet, RG, but he is one of the best real there deal. is at defense. Deal. And you see it. Misery cashes in on the deep throw. Anthony Pulley advances. He takes out Brent. David Katz, 17-14 for these two guys. What a performance. Bread fought back as well as he could, but ultimately just came up short. Good Deion start. Sanders coming in. Bread already coming out, slanging that rock, two for two, 45 yards, high pass in traffic. He's Look, very, very focused when you he plays. You are not going to see much emotion from our guy, Bread. This dude is a man David Katz keeps to himself. He's a man of business. He's not here for the experience and to go out, this, that, and the third. He's not here to make friends. He's all business. Mass shooting in Florida where uh, the police say there have been multiple fatalities. For more on this, let's uh, get the latest update uh, from RT's Don Quarter. Don, thanks for uh, coming in, obviously, early uh, minutes and hours after this incident. What more do we know uh, so far, though? Well, as you said, officials have already confirmed multiple fatalities. They've also said that um, one of these fatalities was the suspect, um, but it's still unknown if there are other suspect, the po uh, su uh, suspects. The police are right now uh, conducting searches both for other suspects as well as civilians locked in, uh, in the complex. Uh, here's some footage of what happened. It's a lot. It's, it's going to be hard yeah. to get them on stream. It's, it's not a, a lot. It, it's not a tough out today. Excuse me, not an easy out. Oh. As you can see, the incident came during a video game tournament inside an entertainment complex located in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Sure, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, you mentioned that uh, entertainment complex. Shockingly, uh, we understand it's not the first time that venue's been targeted by a shooter. Yeah, absolutely. Another sh a similar shooting actually happened last year where a 16-year-old boy was killed and another 13-year-old boy was wounded. So we're just going to have to see how this all pans out, and we'll, of course, bring the latest details as they come about.